the most important treatment for coronavirus is support. That means getting plenty of rest, plenty of liquids, taking your vitamins or at least eating a healthy diet when you're at home. There are antivirals that we can use to treat coronavirus like this. The most promising one is remdesivir and it's available only as part of a trial. We won't know yet until we analyze all the data and take care of lots and lots of patients whether or not it causes any unexpected harms or problems down the road. The best thing to do is to do it as part of a trial so that we can keep track of all the information about whether or not it works. The worst thing you can do is take a medication that wasn't meant for you, that isn't part of a, tra a tracking program where doctors can follow you and make sure that you're doing well because then you could have unidentified or unexpected side effects from those medications that could do even more harm than the coronavirus. There have been trials done on, for example, the one that's hitting the news because of Donald Trump is the hydroxychloroquine. Those trials are, I would say, problematic, okay, because they have several concerns about the design of those trials. It suppresses viral growth in the, um, in, in the test tube. Uh, the big question is, is that we don't really know how it suppresses it in the test tube specifically, and we don't know you know, there are a lot of hypotheses why, but you know, we don't really know exactly why. And then we don't know if it's going to work in people. What we've done in the New York area is we've actually established hotlines where a person who's thinking about getting tested can actually call a hotline and then speak with a medical professional because not everyone needs to be tested. And the people that need to be tested, we like to say, are people where the results of that test will impact uh, medical decision making. So we don't really think that um, at this point, because there's a limited number of tests, that the worried well, um, those with minor illness need to be tested. Um, we're trying to recommend that the limited numbers of tests be um, triaged for those people who um, will potentially end up in the hospital where that knowledge can make a difference in, in how they're managed. Who should get tested is based on the fact that we have a limited number of tests. Um, so the answer to this will hopefully change in the future when there's better access to testing.